Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Thrive TV. And this is our nature watch this week. And we're going to talk to you about 30 Days Wild, which hopefully we've all seen. And we know that it's an initiative from Hampshire and Isle of Wildlife Trust to do something wild every day in June. And we're taking part in this. And what I'd like to do for you each week is just give you a little update, show you what I've been up to, the wild things I've been doing for nature and for my well-being for 30 days wild. So this is the first day today, 1st of June. And I'm just going to give you a little taster from the Wildlife Trust of the sorts of things that we might be seeing. thing that uh, we saw lots of different uh, wild oh, activities excuse me wild activities in that little video and if we just go back to the presentation you can see that it's not just about looking at different species it's about taking care of nature taking care of our environment it's also about us being outside and actually get into those benefits from being outdoors in nature, connecting with nature, and just having a little bit of a mindfulness moment, perhaps and outdoors that we wouldn't necessarily think to have, and how that can help us to relax and just kind of take stock and move on and boost our well being. So, some of the wild things that you might like to do, and some things I might be doing. So, listening to bird song, I'm trying to listen to that for perhaps. 30 seconds or up to a whole minute without interruption, just really focusing on the sounds and the birds and just letting that noise fill the space. You might want to watch a bee or perhaps another insect that you might see, just noticing how it flies or how it moves. Where does it go? Does it go between flowers? Does it move? How does it move? Just really noticing the insects outside. Perhaps you might like to actually do something wild, create a space in your garden for wildlife. I mowed my lawn yesterday. It was the end of no mow May. But what I have actually done is left some spaces at the sides of the garden for wildlife, for nature. So I've left the daisies and the longer grass to thrive in those areas. Perhaps you'd like to sow some wildflower seeds or make a bug hotel in your garden. Perhaps you might go outside of an evening and watch the sunset. Just take notice of the gorgeous colours you might see across the sky. Perhaps you might go outside in the rain, either go for a walk or just stand outside and notice where the raindrops fall perhaps trace one falling across a leaf or as it falls down, rolling perhaps down a wall or a pavement. You might count how many birds you can see flying past your window, noting down the different species that you see. Maybe you don't know them, that's fine. Just have a look and see as they fly past in the sky. And all of these things are just gonna help you to really connect with nature and really want to preserve it and conserve it going forward, but also help to boost your well-being and let nature help you, perhaps in times of need. So for today, the focus has been on my big wild breakfast. The Wildlife Trust has asked you, or all of us, to go outside and have our breakfast outdoors. 
And perhaps we might have seen some of these species as we've been having our breakfast outside. It's butterflies or a dandelion, a sparrow perhaps, or a bumblebee. I'm lucky to have some dandelions. I've left them unmown in the front garden. And I saw some bees as well when I was having my outdoor breakfast, as you can see there, my daisies not quite opened up yet as well, which was lovely. We went out there now with the sun. We probably see them start to open up, taking that sunshine, but this morning they were still closed. It was really lovely to see. So it's just these little things that we might notice as we go outside. And then we might go back out and have a look and see. In the early morning sun, you can see the periwinkle there. We've got one was open and one not quite ready to be open, perhaps just a little bit more in the shade there. So what did you see? You can always let us know. Pop it in the chat box. Send us an email, comment on our Facebook page and tell us what you're doing for 30 Days Wild. What I'd like to do now is just to leave you with one of the things that I love doing, and that's listening to the bird song. I'm really just taking in, taking stock this morning of the, the blue tick that I could hear in my apple tree. I hope that was nice for you this morning. What are you going to do for this wild for 30 days wild? Let us know. Thank you. Bye bye.